In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a text layer in Adobe Premiere Pro, add a stroke to that text layer, and then add a gradient ramp to that stroke right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into the video. So once we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you want to begin by creating a brand new sequence. So we'll go File, New, Sequence. We'll press Settings. That is the second tab along. We'll go to Editing Mode. Make sure this is Custom. Make sure we have a time base of 23.976 frames a second. Frame size can be 1080, so that's 1920 by 1080. Pixel aspect ratio, square pixels, fields, and no field progressive. And then we can go ahead and we can rename the sequence to whatever we like. But I'm going to keep mine as sequence three. And then from there, once you've created the sequence, we need to go ahead and create some text. So we're going to go up into file, new, legacy title then we'll press ok on this window and inside of the legacy title window you just want to go ahead and create a text layer so select anywhere inside this black video type out your word and then from there you can go ahead you can change the color you can change the font you can change the weight i'm going to change my font to a veneer i'm going to increase the weight and the size of this i'm going to change the fill color to solid white so i'll pull that to the bottom left corner and I'm happy with the look of this. So I'm going to center this up by using these two center buttons on the left. And then before we exit the window, we just want to copy that title. So select that title, hold command C or control C on the keyboard. That's going to copy. We'll exit that window and we'll drag that title onto video layer one. Now from there, we're going to go back into legacy title. So we we'll go file new legacy title, press OK on that window. And now we're going to hold command V to paste that in. Then from there, we're going to go to the right of this legacy title window and we'll deselect the fill box. So we're going to get rid of the fill. We don't want any fill. And we're going to go down to stroke. We've got inner strokes and outer strokes. Basically, an inner stroke is going to add the outline inside of the text and an outer stroke is going to add the outline outside of the text. We want the outer stroke for this effect. So you want to go ahead and press add next to outer strokes. Then from there, just so we can see what we're doing, you want to change the fill color to something really bright and fluorescent. So let's go for a bright yellow. We'll press OK on that. And as you can see, we've got our stroke added around the text. So you can increase the size of this by pulling on this. You can make this really huge or you can make this very subtle. It's completely up to you. But for the sake of this effect, I'm going to keep this quite chunky so we can see the gradient later on. So once you're happy with the look of that, we can exit this legacy title window. We'll throw that title onto video layer two. And this basically means we've got our stroke and our fill separated by different layers. So we'll turn both of those off. If we turn on video layer one, we can see our fill. If we turn on video layer two, we can see our stroke. So essentially from here, what we need to do is go into effects and search for ramp. That will load up ramp inside of generate and we want to drop that onto the stroke layer. So that is the video on video layer two. Now. Inside of ramp, we've got the start of ramp and we've got the end of ramp. You want to select start of ramp. And by doing so, you'll notice that we get these two circles appear on our monitor. So you want to drag this one at the top to the very left of the text. You want to drag the one at the bottom to the very right. And this is basically changing the positioning of the start and end point of the gradient. So if we have it all the way at the top and all the way at the bottom, then we won't see much of a gradient. We'll kind of see a very soft change in colors. Whereas if we put it right to the very edge of the word, you're really going to see that harsh gradient throughout the text. Now, from there, you want to change your start color to a color of your choice. So I'm gonna go for light blue. Press okay, we'll go to end of color and we'll change this to another color. So I'm gonna go for pink because that complements blue really well. And there you go, we've got a gradient applied to our stroke of our text layer. And the really awesome thing is because we've separated the stroke and the fill, if you wanted to turn off the fill color, you just have to turn off the layer and you've got your gradient there. Of course, you can also change the color of the fill because that's separated. So you can go back into the title window and you can change this color to whatever you like. So we'll change this to a dark gray or a dark red. And as you can see, that has now changed 
underneath and separate to the ramp. So we can affect the ramp separately and we can affect the fill separately. So there you go. That's how you create a text layer inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Add a stroke to that text layer and then add a gradient to the stroke. So if you enjoyed watching this video, then of course, please do let me know and I will see you on the next video. See you there.